This will be a John Deere, and the following them up is Sydney Antique Machinery Club. They meet here at the showgrounds also. We have Jim at Rowley with a global war warning V16 D Detroit two stroke engine. The Parker family has their Leyland bus, 1750. That's just coming around past the show jumping here at the moment. It was built for Urban Transit Authority in 1975 and ran until 1989, then sold into private use until 1997. This has been in the preservation with Sydney Road Transport Museum. Eddie Person is there with the Ferguson T20 tractor. Thanks very much, Eddie. Stephen Hunter, the 1923 10-ton steamroller, worked in Sydney all its life. Steamroller just making its way around now. We also have Danny Glazer, the Cumberland Super 90. Peter Coco, the 1918 T-model Ford. And Matthew Miller, the Cumberland Super 90. Thank you very much to the Sydney Antique Machinery Club. And if you don't already know, the Sydney Antique Machinery Club has the aim to encourage the restoration, preservation and exhibition of antique machinery, including stationary engines, related machinery, tractors, vehicles, hobbies, models and collectibles. You can see they have done a fabulous job of all of these machines. Of course, we may not have the creature comforts uh, we've got in our modern cars or the tractors. Tractors these days, we have our GPS set up in there. All we've got to do is sit in there, put the air conditioner on, type in the GPS, uh, listen to our, to our broadcast. Tractor virtually does it yourself, but have a look at how it was done only a few years ago. Such a fantastic display of well restored and preserved tractors and mowers and vehicles. Most farm sheds. We were going up all the farm sheds around. The uncles and the families all have a old mower sitting in their farm shed. It's taken hours and hours of restoration to get these vehicles up and going once again. A little bit different to the school bus you get each day, boys and girls, coming past now. Express to the showground. <laughs> 